Welcome back guys to Savvy Charmed Life. If you're new here, I'm Tracy and today we're going to be doing a kind of day in my life shop with me fall, fall themed vlog. Um, we are going to go to Michael's and look at Halloween decorations and then we're going to go to one of like the spirit Halloween stores to see what's there. I haven't been to one of those in forever. And then we're also going to be going to Barnes and Noble and getting some coffee and just like sitting and uh, reading and looking around at Barnes and Noble. So come along with me for this fun fall themed day in my life. <laughs> It's late at 
bed and I hear footsteps on the floor. Blood is freezing in my lips. Well, is it real or is it just October things? They say he's coy. I could just shrug it off and be in paranoid. Yeah, women come over 'cause he doesn't have a spouse. But oddly, no one ever sees them leave his house. Who's this guy? Footsteps on the floor, blood is freezing in my lips. Well, is it real or is it just October things? So that is the end of our shopping vlog. I will show you really quick the one thing that I purchased at the spirit store is this cute little quibbler um, bag, which I am planning on wearing. I am going to Universal in a couple of weeks and I have a Hufflepuff outfit planned. So I think I'm going to kind of piece together a um, Luna Lovegood outfit and wear this bag. Super, super cute. It was only $22. Okay, so this is the bag. I did extend it all the way so it can be a crossbody. Let me zoom out for you guys a little bit. So that it can be a crossbody. But is this not just the cutest? It has this little, I'll show it to you here. So this is what the strap looks like. It does attach on the back right here and it is adjustable. Um, the little a zipper is a super cute little specter spec um charm and then it has the quibbler like magazine cover on the front and let me unzip it and show you what it looks like on the inside so because so because it is this like accordion style i actually feel like it's like super super spacious it's this really pretty like stripe on the inside and it has a little pocket right here but yeah so that is what it looks like i'm super excited and i will be like i said piecing together a um luna lovegood themed outfit to wear at universal Okay guys, and that is the end of today's like fall Halloween themed shopping vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Super excited for fall and ready for like true fall weather. Um, so the only other thing I think is like that um, Jane Austen book. I think I'm gonna put that on my Christmas list and ask for that for Christmas. Um, me and my husband went on a trip 
a million years ago because we've been married we are about to have a november our 17th wedding anniversary um so this is when we were newlyweds but we went on a england trip i think in 2008 the summer of 2008 and I planned like, all these literary things for like Dickens and Jane Austen and Charlotte Bronte and things to like see sites and things that were themed to the things that I love about England. Um, and I remember not being able to find anything. Like I had to buy like these really ancient books that were out of print, used, and then like made my own plan using like these little, they used to sell these moleskin um guidebooks let me go grab it and show you okay so i'm going to show you what i'm talking about all right so these are all my guidebooks so this one the i have three of them the literary guide and companion i have to southern england middle england and then i'm trying to think i was thinking northern england might be the one that the the wife like uh published like posthumously after her husband died and then i also got this one used which is called a literary tour guide to england by emily harding and these were like published like a gajillion years ago like um when was this one published like i feel like they were both published in like maybe the 70s so yeah 1976 is the yeah uh, this was copyrighted in 1975 and this one was printed in 1976 so i'm pretty sure like all of these books i think the newest one i have might be that companion to middle england might have been printed in like the 80s and then i had this uh great britain this lonely planet great britain was my one of my sole guide books that i had so i've had this great britain lonely planet for like 20 years lonely planet as you can see is my favorite <laughs> um and then a few years ago i also found oh i can't put it away this which is sacred scotland which has like stuff about like ancient sites and sacred places so that's really fun but yeah so i had a really hard time um so yeah, so I had a really hard time finding guidebooks for things like that back then. Um, and so this is, this is like all dusty, but let me show you. All right, so I apologize for the dust, but Moleskin used to make these. Um, this is the one, I don't know if you can see that very well, for London. Um, and I just had this little guide that I made. Um, it has all of the maps of London. And then it also has an underground map in here. And then I also just wrote things down about like where we were gonna stay and what we were gonna do. And then it had all these little like, like transparent sheets of paper. And I would use like the guidebooks that I just showed you and I would copy maps and then stick them in here. And then this is literally the map of Bath from the lonely planet that i made a copy of and then just taped it into this moleskin journal um and then i would write out um like things that i wanted to do and guides um like uh like all the things that we wanted to do um and then what the stop was for it this was the photo descriptions um this was like our itinerary that i wrote out and then I feel like I wrote out like a, what were, like there was like a Dickens tour that we were going to do. And I thought I wrote out everything. Here's the Rochester map, which is Rochester, England, which is like a Dickens thing. Um, but yeah, and then I wrote out, is this it? This is my journal entries. There was like this whole like guy that I wrote out for a, a, a London tour of um of uh is this it yeah this is the dickens tour um the london dickens tour and then i wrote like the stop and then like everything like where we went what the turn was what the thing was that we were seeing and why it was important um so this was literally my own what i created and I pieced all of that together from all those like books and things that I read. Um, but now there's like these amazing like guides, Jane Austen's, like I feel like two Jane Austen's guides to England. And there's probably a Charlotte Bronte guide to England and probably a Dickens guide to England. Uh, but like I said, those Cooper books, the literary guide and companion books, 
I literally found like out of print used. And the same thing for that literary tour guide to, to England and Scotland. Like you would have to buy them used to find them. So that's why I held on to them after I used them because I was like, who knows if I'll ever be able to find these again, you know? Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put that Jane Austen like guide to England book on my Christmas list. But yeah, so that is all for our fun little um, shop with me, Dan, my life fall theme vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. I will probably do like, like a really short, I don't know if I'll do it in like actual shorts. I don't do a lot of shorts on this channel. Um, or just a short video. Um, I mostly do my longer format videos for you guys. Um, but when I actually decorate the house for Halloween, I'll do a video for that too. So definitely be on the lookout for that. If you love videos like this, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos with me all about my life, I do lots of fun day in my life, shop with me's, stationery related, some travel vlogs, then definitely hit that subscribe button. I also, I will link below just to, if you are interested in this kind of thing. I also have an entire channel devoted to travel vlogging um, called Savvy Journey. So I will definitely link that below and you can go check out some of my travel related um, videos. Those are more focused on the tips and the tricks and the how to's. Whereas any travel vlogs I put on this channel are more about just like the fun part of traveling if that makes any sense so like a lot of times I'll have like the same like a vlog for the same trip on both this channel and my travel channel but just like the types of things that like I talk about and show are different on the two channels if that makes any sense but I'll definitely li link Savvy Journey below just for fun okay guys thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video bye